Hello guys, and I got something amazing to show you today. Uh, the Red Game 2. It's, um, it's my second attempt at a computer. And um, I loaded it with a little simple demo program to show you guys. So, well, the major changes in the Red Game 2 versus the original Red Game is speed. As a comparison, the old one was about 17 or so seconds per command. If you program this one well, you can get up to 1.3 seconds per command or function thing. Find you can find out how I made it so fast and how the computer works that well in the tech demonstration video thing. There should be an annotation somewhere you can click and whatnot. Okay, so another change is this the boot manager. Re in real life, on the motherboard, you have this little chip with the mother. Or something I don't know, and it's when you push the power button, it manages that all the little pieces of the computer start up correctly and shut down, and it tries to find the operating system and such. That's this thing, except there's much more buttons. So that's turn on, turn off, reset. There's only one button now. The computer can turn itself off and reset itself, just like in real life. So okay, now it's loaded with a little add subtract thing where it takes the input from here and there's a little lamp over there general indicator another thing I added also added this random number generator okay so we're gonna do say 5 plus 2 okay 5 plus 2 so 4 1 it's 5 it's already a bit of maths oh and we're adding so add we turn the thing on startup screen it looks much awesomer from up there the lamp turns on saying we can enter the second number okay so we're doing 5 plus 2 which is 7 by the way so I put in 2 and accept there now we wait and the answer is 7 so computer turned itself off and reset itself you can't really see it now I'll, I'll show you just now so, say let's do a subtract sum now. 13 minus 4. Bit hard. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh. This is subtract sum. And we turned it on. We don't need to reset or anything. The computer did that for us. You can enter the second number, which is 4. 13 minus 4 equals 9. So, yeah, there. and accept that turns off so now it's computing and uh, it will lag your computer the real one you're running the computer in because it's simulating it lag so it might not run at its full speed because of your computer's lagness there we are. Reset itself. And we just wait for the screen to refresh. Nine. See? Perfect. This computer is really, really fast. and It's actually fast enough to play games now. It's got a very good program system. Everything is like... Everything is optimized to the max for speed. Okay, I could probably... There's probably a few repeaters you can get rid of. And Maybe I double right click to repeater. Made it one tick slower. I actually didn't make the clock as fast as I could. 
because that would cause my computer to lag too much. I'm sorry guys. You can probably experiment with the clock as well. It was just too much for my real computer, the one I'm recording on, to handle. So yeah, eventually I'm going to make a computer game for this. So we will be running a computer game on a computer, in a computer game, on a computer, and if you're watching this, on yet another computer, or tablet, or internet, television, or phone, whatever you're watching this on. Now that's not the point, of course. It's going to be Pixel Invaders. It's not done yet. I get the player movement done, the screen refresh. That's broken, but I know how to fix it. And the enemy random number generator seems to be working, but I don't know what's wrong with it displaying. So anyways, if you want to see the secret to my speed and how this computer works, and maybe inspiration for making your own computer, then watch the tech video. So, well, I make these creation kind of things quite a lot, so check out my channel for more of these epic creation kind of things. Because, come on, a computer and a computer. That, not to compliment myself or anything, but I say that's pretty cool. You know, made graphics cards, another computer, so CPU, you know, all that stuff. Also, rates. You know, rate the video. If you, if you liked it, hit the little thumbs up. Okay, so well, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.